I am here with Rex Landy, who just told me that she is a pariah in New Zealand. Welcome, Rex. And why don't you tell us, why are you a pariah in New Zealand? <laughs> well, everybody, good morning, Erin, and thank you so much for talking to me. Like I say, there's, there's people in America who will talk to me. There's people in, this, in, in the turf island, but very few here because I'm the turf jester and I've got no gloves. I asked nicely six years ago, you know, I've been at the coalface for six years, hardcore, and I asked nicely six years ago and Tranny said, no, we're coming and we're going to colonise your spaces. And I said, no, fuck off, never, never. So we're, we're engaged in reality's last stand. And like I say, I, I've had six years of this, so I'm not asking nicely anymore. Well, and one of the I things that it. I noticed, you have a YouTube channel that I encourage people to go to. And I was watching you testify at a, at a le legislative hearing. And I, I believe it might be the same legislative hearing that I testified at. And yeah. the, um, the legislators are so rude. They spend the whole time kind of doing this. One of them turned off her video. Um, just intensely rude behavior. Um, Looking off. <laughs> yeah. They paid six notes for that. They paid six figure salaries to sit and sneer at us, the people that employ them. Unreal. It's just disgusting. It really is to be that rude to a constituent. So you've been in this for six years. How did you get started? Yeah. Gavin Hubbard, Gavin Hubbard, bless his balding little heart. Oh, Gavin Hubbard, our weightlifter here. One in the stunning, two in the brave, Laurel. You're a man forever, you bald fuck. So him, and then hearing these murmurs about schooling, the, the school curriculum, thankfully my son was um, gone by then from school. Uh, and then this, Little woman over in England called Posy Parker was selling T-shirts with woman, adult, human, female. And she was getting a lot of shit on social media. And I was like, why is that? And I looked a little closer and thought, well, I'm going to save up and I'm going to buy myself one of them. So I bought one of those T-shirts to support Posy back then, a little while ago. And um, I've been at the cold face ever since. <laughs> But it was Gavin Hubbard, you know, Mr. Middle. For those who don't but, know, can you tell what happened? Because to me, yeah, well, one of the more Gavin Hubbard is a billionaire's son. Okay, he's he's an effete man who's the son of a homophobe who happened to be a billionaire. Uh. So a lot of money, and oh, I'm only surmising, but you know, from what I hear, New Zealand's very small. That's six degrees. It's one degree, maybe two degrees of separation here so nothing's really a secret <laughs> lots of money changed place you know took took place uh, an exchange took place and New Zealand weightlifting was cushy and all of a sudden Gavin was Laurel and this 40 year old middle-aged baldo said he was a woman and everybody went yes he is I'm like no he's fucking not he's a man in a dress and he took a spot away from an indigenous woman yep. on the Olympics. Oh, he regularly, he regularly, regularly. cheats. Yep, yeah, regularly cheats women out of it. He's a white man. And he got name suppression when he um, was a hit and run driver. He was convicted, but he was a hit and run driver. He smashed these old Australian couple. Their lives have been fucked forever now. Wow. Yes, yeah, smash this man's pelvis, hit and run driver, and we it was all kept a secret because that white privilege, the white male privilege, <laughs> even in your skirt, you still maintain the white male privilege of being a dude. Well, he's he's got the white male privilege by being able to pretend to be a woman. I mean, that's only something a man gets to do. Yeah. Like so, Dave Chappelle says, if this was Mexico. And loads of Mexicans and black men going, ay, 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 I'm a woman. They'd be back in that field, boy, and pick my fucking avocados. 
But no, it's Mr. Wall Street, Mr. 45 year old. I've watched too much porn. Yeah, yeah. it's really. And oh, you mentioned Posey Parker's t shirts. Um, yeah. You have a it's, phenomenal t shirt on. I want to see it. <laughs> I need to get one. Be the billboard. <laughs> Sus my ass. Yeah, I am so sick of that. Every time I hear that term, it just makes my skin crawl. It makes me yeah. so angry that we are I'm being. I'm not a subset. I'm not yeah, a subset it's... of woman. Yeah. Yeah. You fucking just... wish you were a tiff, don't you, boy? Because then you'd be a woman. <laughs> yeah. You fucking wish every night you were a tiff. Because <laughs> then you'd actually be a woman. Because we all know we could tell, bro. Yeah. And I am mock mocking and scornful and, and profane and gloves off. Oh, I don't care. Fuck, you're a man in a dress. And the naked emperor, I'm that boy in the crowd. Yep. And I'm a very unpopular because I've got no filter. It's very tiring for my family. I love them. They do very well. Because, you know... I'm on, it's, I'm it's on exhausting all the being, Yeah, it's exhausting being inundated with, with um, just pure gaslighting. And so we need people who don't have filters because I think one of the reasons that this has infiltrated is that everybody was sort of, oh, well, I'm just going to be nice free about pass. this. It was, a, it was a free pass. They mm -hmm. want to be nice and it's being sold here in New Zealand schools as be kind and don't bully. But it's the fucking rainbow mafia. They're the alphabet mafia. They're actively um, ostracizing and shaming children here if you don't use the right pretend made up pronouns. So, so they're do, teaching do you have by, any you know, idea why New Zealand has has been so infected with this? Because there are certain places where it seems like it has just taken hold so strongly. And yeah. New Zealand and Canada are both places. Oh, Canada, Canada. Yeah. I'll be back. I'm turning your light on because I'm not. not back as. <laughs> <laughs> which is all right but it's actually a bit gloomier here than i thought <laughs> yeah it's a bit it's a bit darker here than yeah. i thought but yeah yeah um it's taken hold here we have um the the elite maori are hand in hand with us busy forcing this shit from the universities it's come from the universities out into society like you know idiots like joe lavery you call yourself grace all you like you're just another pommy bastard with bad teeth bro you'll never be a woman yeah. you know a grace lavery and a lock the filthy rug Yuck. so do you feel like the, the majority of the population <laughs> there is accepting it or do you feel like most people nah. are just like hoping it will go away they don't know they don't know I would say um, it's it's a bit like the scandemic, you know, of like, well, I'm on that team now. I'm on that team. This is my team. And when a child is duped into the cult, because I believe it's a medical cult, yeah. uh, something they don't talk about either is they're all fucking drug addicts. Mm -hmm. You're setting these children, they're mind adults. I don't give a fuck what you do as an adult, but they're setting these children on a lifelong path of drug dependency and the highs of the surgery, woo, down to the lows of fuck, I need some more oxy. Yeah. You know, and because yeah. I talk about it like this without the, ooh, there, there, darling, sorry about your feelings. It's like, fuck, you're not well, mate. We need some talk therapy. Well, and that's the thing that's so disturbing to me is these therapy bands, because these are people who so clearly need help. They are, you know, one of the things that I keep hearing is, well, if we don't do what they say, they're going to kill themselves. Well, that's someone who needs help. Um, in no other yeah, situation yeah, can I think of. You, like, you seem so, so well since you're threatening suicide. Yeah. Yeah, that's you not know, something that healthy suicide, people do. You tell me you're well. Yeah. Yeah. And you want to mutilate your genitals that tells me you're not a reasonable person no you know because we, we don't it's the only one it's the only mental illness that we validate oh i don't i'm not going to validate it. it's a fucking yeah. mental illness yeah. and busy here our our media are captured i would say we're awash with tranny money awash with it i don't quite know what happened but um Elizabeth Kuri, uh, Elizabeth Kuri Kuri, or Dr. Elizabeth Kitty Kitty. She's a member of the Green Party, lesbian, traitor, absolute fucking quizzling. 
the one who sat on the board uh, on the select committee and gave Beth Johnson a hug and said, I suggest if you don't want to be accused of being transphobic, transphobic that you don't say transphobic things. It's like, and then asked us not to use her own research. Now she fucked off to California, somewhere in America, and wrote her PhD. Kind of reads like what I did with my, my alphabet friends on my holidays. It wasn't accepted by her first professor, wouldn't sign off on it. It was so shit. Wow. I mean, it was not signed off by her first professor, so she had to go and get D, someone else too. And then we come back, she comes back here with this PhD. Page 82 of the, of the thesis says there's no evidence of this gender woo in Māori society. Right, so her own thesis contradicts her. And then when people point that out, she was like, don't try and use my own work to discredit me. I'm like, it already has, bro. It already has. You said on page 82, there's no evidence of this bullshit. And that's what's because so it's... frustrating is this is so contradictory in so many different ways. You know, they're, it's, they're saying it's not a mental health issue, but then they need the DSM diagnosis in order to get it paid yeah. for. I mean, they're all getting these... the insurance. Yes. And, and they <laughs> expect us not to see this and just memory hold all the death threats. And, you know, you're just an evil turf. You deserve to die anyway. Choking, burning, yeah. you know, cut my rape, head off. Rape. Yeah. Break me to death. I've had all them. I've had over a hundred death threats. Yeah. Do you want to talk about I, that I just a little bit? Offer them when, my address. Where are they you want from? my address? So when did you start getting? Oh, everywhere. Yeah. I've death threats all, all the time. Facebook, Twitter, you know. I'll come at you with my man hands. I'll go, yeah, that's how I know you're not a woman. Yeah. Do you want my address? They never come back to me. I just go, do you want my address? I'll give you my address. Come. <laughs> you're all busy like this going, I nee, nee, tests are evil. Yeah. You know, they look at us, the gaslighting, and I've, I've even seen us not wanting 12-year-olds to have mastectomies at, written on Twitter of, I'm beginning to think they just want more boobs to look at. <laughs> I've got the screenshot. Oh, I screenshot everything, you know. These people say this shit out loud. They say it out loud in open internet, and it's forever see as I stand by my stuff you know I do not like the legislative capture that is telling us that I have to tell lies because some fucking man in a dress will cry let him cry yeah. fuck I've got tissues bro for your issues now I'm wondering <laughs> have they passed any conversion there or any conversion therapy legislation that that impinges upon your free speech because I know that that in can't can, I think it's in Canada, what, somewhere they were talking about basically making it illegal even for parents to to use quote unquote yeah, they, therapy. Um, that that basically you know mandating all of society to affirm these delusions. Have they done anything like that where you are? Uh, they tried, yeah. The conversion therapy they did try. Um, I went to a Carter conference, um, the Child and Adolescent Therapist Association here. They had a the Harms of Transgender Medicine conference. Tranny's got all upset about it. One keynote speaker wouldn't speak because he got hounded out. I'm like, oh, yeah, whatever. So we, we had a talk, and it is the harms of transgender medicine. And um, there was a good portion in the afternoon with a barrister and um, a, a QC, and they laid out, you know, that you can provide talk therapy but um, the law is going to be tested. I'm sure they're going to. Might even be tested. There's, there's other laws that might be tested on me because I received a formal warning from the police for words on the internet. I've what made was, videos what, about what it on was our that? channel. When, what was that? Re it was related to YouTube? <laughs> that warning was related um, to YouTube? No, no, to um, my getter. No, I don't know if the pl I don't know if plods found my YouTube. I'll be <laughs> fucking thrilled when they do, eh? <laughs> they're gonna be thrilled well like I say I tried nicely six years ago to say please don't put men in women's jail because they'll rape them <laughs> please don't put men in women's sports because they're stronger and they'll shut up you bigot 
and we've had we've had a tranny um, MP here, George Byers. He, I think he's had the snip and flip, and he's full tranny, served for years. And you know, my philosophy is if you're a tranny and you're just living your life, I don't really give a fuck. But if you're coming in my toilets and my sports as a man, in my shelters and rape shelters, like India Willoughby, he wants to listen to rape stories. Filthy prick. Yeah. Yuck. Yeah. And and you know, they tell us this out in open in the open. Yeah. And 20 years ago, I left one. Okay. I'm a trans widow. I left one. I fucking fled. Oh, I did not know that. So how and did now, you find out yeah. that you're <laughs> well it took me about 14 years to get over it, really, once I left. Wow. I'm writing about it on my Substack. Um that's the only thing that I pay wall is the story of my time as a trans widow. Everything else you can read, it's just reality bites is my substack. Um, it was 20 years ago. 20 years ago, they were still, get back in the closet, you filthy panty sniffing degenerate. <laughs> they were tolerated. They were, they were tolerated. Yeah. But yeah, they were You still had to be nice. I mean, it was. They weren't sort of, celebrated. No. They weren't fucking fated. Right. They went, oh, yes, queen, please take a big man shit right next to my granddaughter. <laughs> Fuck off. You know. Well, how did you find no, out? No, and I'm, I'm seven. Was doing that. Did he tell you or did you find out some other way? Oh, you know, no, I'd, I'd moved. I'd moved from London. <laughs> I was three months pregnant. <laughs> I was proper captive. <laughs> So, you know, um, and then I found his suitcase of delusion, the suitcase of considerable delusion. Oh, gosh. But anyway, you know, I fled and I thought better one happy parent than two miserable ones. <laughs> so to see that from 20 years ago, pure fetish, it really is a fetish, yeah. you know, because point... 0.007% of the population truly suffer with the mental illness. Our MSM here, I've got screenshots of them saying, it's not a mental illness. It's just not. And you need to stop saying that. And I, I made the papers with my submission because um, Deborah Russell told me that she told her Twitter followers she wanted to tell me to fuck off. <laughs> See, the feeling is mutual. <laughs> yeah, she gets to Twitter and goes, oh, if I say, oh, do fuck off, will my lovely friends understand? That was the woman who turned her camera off and I went, ooh, la, 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 la. Yeah, she her. was. Well, and then, and then when you left. Her out on it. After you left, they acted as if you had been the one who was inappropriate. Oh, yeah, gaslighting. And, and because she's, oh, oh, you know, no. And, uh. She got um, told told off by another MP of you, you can't tell your constituents to fuck off. People who pay your salary, that's not very good. But I um I did a reply to her <laughs> on our YouTube. Well, and I encourage people to go watch your YouTube station because um, you have some great. And videos. Michelle tells me it's one of our most watched videos. <laughs> We all do, you know, like all of us, Manawahine Kori, well, that's the group I'm in. We stand against this, you know. We are firmly in the camp of safeguarding women and children. Mm -hmm. Everything else is white noise, you know, how it comes at us. But the bottom line for us is safeguarding women and children. And men in dresses are not women. Even if you squint, even if you wish on a fucking flaming ball of gas in the sky, mate, you know, it's not going to happen. Now, what gets me and what really annoys me is because like I'm six years down the track. So oh, I'm fucking gloves off. You're a fucking man in a dress, coat, season, dilate. You have a stink ditch. It's not a vagina. And I'm, I've paired my language right down to absolute savagery because I asked nicely and they just steamrolled it and they've just infiltrated every strata of society and government, right? Not once have I ever wished them to die. Not once have I wished them ill or harm. Not once have I incited anyone who follows me to go and hurt a tranny. They hurt themselves more than enough. Mm -hmm. Nothing I could do could be worse than the voice in their head that's saying, you will never be a woman. <laughs> yeah. 
makes me up every time. I know it's shocking, <laughs> but I, I have, they burnt all my compassion away when they said I needed to be trepanned, raped to death, cut your head off, pull your uterus out through your throat. That one I invited. I said, come, come do it. Joke's on you. I had it out in 2012. So yeah. they burnt it all away, but never once, never once have I wished harm on them or, or anything else. I've laughed at them. And you see, laughter's not allowed anymore because that is the last weapon we have is satire. And the jester is sacred. The jester's the only one who can tell the king, you can't yeah. tell people you're going to cut their heads off, sire. It's a yeah. bad look. Yeah. Well, and that's one of the things that's just amazing to me is that they can threaten to, you know, choke us with their girl dick, to burn us, to chop us off. Up. They can, yeah. you know, threaten to. Everything. There's a video on YouTube right now. The 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 man who um, he does these YouTube videos. He was originally thought to be the one that went into the Wii spa, and it turned out that it was somebody else. But he 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 wrote a he has a, a music video up there, basically. Um, with you know pictures yeah. of of um, you know knives and, and, and calling for us to be to do killing now Turks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and, right. And All we're the, the ones who are violent. To do, it's fucked <laughs> on estrogen. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, to me, it's you know. just, it's it's shocking that we're the ones who are considered violent. We're the ones who are accused of hate speech, and yet the they words can... are literal violence. I'm yeah. shaking right now. Yeah, they, <laughs> and that's that's I think part of it is this, is this confusion of language, where you know us saying you're actually a man is considered violence, and them them saying they want to rape and burn us is is considered reasonable response to us telling the truth. Well, there's, there's, um, you know, Nick Hickey. Nick Hickey's really hated by the trannies. Who's Nick, Nick Hickey? Uh, Nick took the name from the child of the uh, Jake the Musks and Once Were Warriors. Has no idea of any connotation. Oh, I do know who you that know, is. You know, Nick? With yes, the, I do. Yeah. Who's gone in now, and he's gone in and, and got a lot of the pornography. Of just nasty, 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 nasty yep. pornography of, of hours men and hours who are claiming that. to be women going into women's bathrooms and masturbating. Mm. And they just silence. Not one tranny lover has ever come out and said, gee, this violence is a bit over the top. Those two meth heads that were there at the fucking Bristol. You fucking die the food. You fucking die the food. You're going to die out. Well, said the man who's fucking backing people who are sterilizing themselves. Yeah. Who's going to die out? Hmm. You know, and because I just, oh, well, hope you're sterile. Out of the gene pool with you. You know. This is this is the reality. And when they realize in their 30s, they'll never have another decent peaceful piss again yeah you know they bought themselves a one-way ticket to what the fuck did i do to my crutch mm -hmm. you know well, and that's those are the ones that i'm even less concerned about because at least they've gotten rid of their penises we have so many now who are just pretending 95 percent keep it yeah they're keeping it and that's where i think most most people don't understand that the majority of men who are claiming to be women are fully intact they and it doesn't enjoy even their matter. Penis. They're going in and masturbating in, yeah. in women's bathrooms. That they are. But it doesn't matter. I don't care whether you fill it your cock and shove it back up inside yourself. I don't care. You're still a man. Yeah. Oh, definitely. But I there don't are, care. I think you that the, it's the men with the penises that are they're coming into our bathrooms are the ones that are very oh, yeah. dangerous. I mean, they're dangerous yeah. to girls and women. Um, well, and we're they seeing them porn raping sick. women in prisons. I mean, they are porn sick. We've got three yeah. women last year were pregnant in our jails. Because some man said I'm a woman, you know, and and that's why David, uh, that um, what was his name, Ian, wanted to shut me down in the submission, because I was telling him the names of the rapists and the pedophiles yeah. and the molesters. We finally got rid of one. David Lim's finally been deported. Good. He was stupefying patients and molesting men. Now you see, he got deported because if he'd been molesting women and girls, I reckon he'd still be allowed here. Because wow. I'm a real cynic. <laughs> I'm a real cynic. You're a realist, I think. Yeah. I mean, he got deported because you cannot hit the men. 
but oh yeah it's all right you've been raping children oh you've got two terabytes of kid fucking on your thing oh look have some home d oh never mind he's a pillar of the community we call that the good bloke defense he shot her point blank range but he's a good bloke yeah, Helen Mead's husband. You know, shit like that. This is framing, and we're back to the language. I won't ever collude with them. I won't ever use their words. You're a tranny. I don't care how you identify fried chicken issue. You're a man in a dress. You're a mentally ill woman with no breasts. And I feel for the women because they don't want to be men. This is only my opinion, but they don't want to be men. They want not to be women. And who can blame because them when women are being oh, treated you've got like this? <laughs> Yeah. that's not a fucking loving moment <laughs> you know like no. yeah when you when you not, see the way women are treated it's not yeah. surprising so many uh, girls are are opting out of womanhood i mean yes no what, i'd probably what, be trans today i think i i mean i have no doubt i mean i i look at this and Pretty i'm like, <laughs> yeah i mean <laughs> I guess I, yeah. I've already, I've been told that I, that I actually still am trans. I've, I'm, I've internalized transphobia because I never transitioned. I've been told. <laughs> we all secretly want a rock pocket <laughs> or a flesh cock. You know, we want an arm cock, yep. some dangling piece <laughs> of necrotic fucking flesh. Yeah, it is. And, it, and, and it's rolled up and there's hair on the inside. And have you yeah. seen the latest yeah. with the belly ones? Yeah. They look like a fucking anteater. Yeah. They look like an anti It's horrifying. It's just horrifying. It's hard for me to imagine how any doctor can can sleep at night doing this. Well, see, even even regular doctors, like if you're a surgeon, I think you do have to have a lick of sociopathy in there. Want <laughs> to cut your fellow man up? Just a just a lick of it, you know? Yeah. yeah. I mean, and, you, and you're motivated by the money. I mean, yes, and and you have this very nice lifestyle. Yeah. Um, I I posted an interview there was an interview on radio new zealand's website about a narcissist malignant narcissist he had been diagnosed twice in 10 years and now he's a professional psychologist and um he really he, he's come to the conclusion there's no cure there's no cure for malignant narcissism so all these trannies were fucked but there's no cure apart from your own self-interest and wanting to better yourself and trying to fit in with the humans, <laughs> you know? Well, and that's one of the reasons we have boundaries have and stigma. And I, I have had so many arguments with people who are saying we should remove the stigma. And I'm like, no, we have stigma for a reason. And if you're a, if you're a guy- Social you, shame is very important. There's a reason for it. It's not a bad thing. Um, we need it because- You don't have are, to accept everything. Yeah, yeah we, we don't have to accept everything. And, you know, um, this, this is a very non-PC story, but um, a lot of Chinese immigrants in the 50s and 60s here in New Zealand spat. Mm. Mm -hmm. right? They spat. They spat everywhere. And it just was how it was. That was their culture. They spat. So, um, like I say, not PC, but everybody here just went it's a bit backward. Yeah. Don't do that. Backward, not not in a big way or any ooh or that, but it was just it's right. pretty backward. Mm -hmm. It's a bit backward. Yeah. And they don't spit. <laughs> you know, it's social yeah. shame of you. Well, know, it's I like uh, in in the. I want to see you masturbating in public, mate. Right. Like, you know, we yeah, even get just... upset with dogs humping the furniture. Well, and I think of how far we've come. When I was a little girl, there was a big ad campaign: "Don't be a litter bug." And these days, yeah. like, oh my gosh, you can't call somebody a litter bug. <laughs> I mean, we've gotten to the point where, where when I was a little girl, don't be a litter bug. And now we are not allowed to call pedophiles. That's hate um, speech. I mean, yeah. I mean, we're supposed yeah. to normalize their behavior and accept it. Um, I don't know and how we went from, you know, don't spit, don't be a litter bug. <laughs> it escalated quickly. And it's because of the internet. It's put mm. everything on steroids. I, I don't I don't listen to any of the alphabet mafia. There's two alphabet mafias in the world. And I, I think next time they're all at Davos with their Lear Jets, we should not train them. <laughs> just they're just no, get out. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> what are you adding to society? The fucking prospect of us owning nothing and eating crickets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get out. Fuck off. 
Yeah. You know, fuck off. You are delusional, you silly old cross-dressing trout, Mr. Well, but they, they've been... Oh, but I don't like I don't know if you saw this, but Marty, Martin, Martin Rothblatt, Martin, Martin yeah. Rothblatt just was uh, nominated to the board of the Mayo Clinic. The Mayo Clinic is one of the preeminent mm. hospitals in the U.S. Oh, big and now we have... Now we have yeah. this this guy who's pushing this um, transhumanism, not just transgender, but yeah. transhumanism He's, agenda at the Mayo Clinic. Have you seen his his wife? Have you seen his being a 48? <laughs> I think I would like the nuclear code. And if I had control of a cruise missile, I could true, I could prove my worth of ruling the world. Fuck that escalated. Yeah. There is I mean, Siri talking. It's Even insane. Siri was like, ooh. Yeah, I mean, it's incredibly <laughs> freaky. It's incredibly freaky. And these are the these are the men who are controlling things. And these are the men who we're supposed to um, accept as as our sisters. Fucking oh, <laughs> hell, you are not a woman. I've put under a couple of his YouTube videos. You will never be a woman. No Louboutins for you. Yeah. Yeah. No Jimmy Choo's for you, eh? Fucking size 11, size 14. Do they come in women's sizes? And it's this willful delusion that if I'm slightly funny or partially funny and I can puncture it, fuck yes. Because I will never, ever genuflect to the trannies. Yeah. Fucking never. Never, never. And um, I got a formal warning from the police for my conduct online because words on the internet are literal violence. And so I challenged the, fine, uh, the formal warning because... In New Zealand, they, they're, they're doing exactly what they're doing in the UK of non-crime hate incidents, non-crime crimes. And formal warning result it actually amounts to the judge, jury and executioner. And we've put this on your file, right? There's enough evidence to charge you, but we're not going to. Ah. And it says this formal warning letter will be recorded and stored in police information systems. Oh, wow. If you offend again, it may be taken into account. Huh. And it could be used in future by police in the course of legitimate police functions, like police vetting and everything. Wow. But if you don't admit to the offence, the warning is illegal. And I just said, no, the truth is an absolute defence hard drive and um he's a groomer and he's you know you can't call him a groomer I said well he is he is this person who complained about words on the internet and uh so I run the risk of them coming to arrest me and they may well arrest me I could be the test case do you have how people dare there? you be? yeah do you have people um at least who can support you in where you are if something I've like got that a couple of happen. people that, that'll come I've got a couple of people that'll come to the station with me or okay. meet me there if I do get arrested um because I've challenged the formal warning to remove it because I never admitted it I just said no nothing I've said and I said to them no nothing I've said is out of order yeah it's a bit vicious yeah, it may not it's be nice, but, but, you know, there's there's no mandate. But it's not violent. It's vicious, but it's not violent. It's mm -hmm. cruel. Because, I mean, I'm going to mock you because you've made the decision to nuke your genitals and you don't think I find that funny. Fuck yes. <laughs> okay. So if you don't find out, I'm sorry, I just, everybody's in the polite camp. That's why nobody talks to me here, because I just go, it's a stink ditch, mate. It's a pus taco. It's a rock pocket. I will never call it anything feminine. I've got a vagina. I know what they look like, and they don't look like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> even, the, even the ones you see on the fucking surgeon's own websites going these people have posted these in to show you and you can see they it's just a wound like, it's a wound it's a wound and they look like a fucking ball sack you can yeah. see the ball sack it's yeah. like fuck yeah and so, anytime anyone tries to puncture through like that poor guy was it tulip who uh, talked about you yeah. know they just go shut up you fucking bigot you're just a bigot shut up and the same with the violence, mm -hmm. the same with the, you know, and it's this willful pretend because I'm in that team now. And you think of a teenager who's put his parents or her parents 
through all this yeah. suddenly wakes up one morning and says, fuck, I'm a woman. Yeah. You know, can you imagine telling your family after you've invested a year, two years, three years, and, you know, there's this, it's that self-fulfilling prophecy, the sunken cost fallacy, yeah. you know, and, and I find once it like say the drug addicts, mate, they're chasing their fix. You know, you can't tell me it's good, go spinny and euphoria, you're fucked on drugs, man. Like murdering us and, and you know, with that, just see that Australian axe run and, you know, he attacked people with an axe and said it was his hormones, you know. Oh, oh, it's your time of the month, you know, like you're a man. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I rail against this and I'm fucking, people say, oh, you're really angry. I'm like, why are you? They're fucking sterilizing children. Yeah. Why I mean, are that's, you that's angry? where if people aren't They're angry, not my children. wrong. Yeah. The world's on fire. We've got a complicit press here. They took 50 million of Cindy Hardon's money last year. Cindy Hardon's our prime minister. Mm. Like Trando's yours. I call her Cindy Hardon. She gave permission for that name on a game show when she was just a minister. Someone said to her, a comedian said to her, can I call you Cindy Hardon if you ever become prime minister? And she laughed and said, you can. <laughs> so, all righty, Cindy. You know. Oh, so are you, are you um, other than the videos that you're making, are you are you doing any other um, actions where you are? Well, yeah, we, we I've been writing letters for six years. Um, I've, I've written letters, um, I mocked the ministers, um, I'm moving hard out into satire now, so there'll be more sketches and such. Mm -hmm. um, we, we take to the streets, Manawahine Kōrero, all four of us. So there's four of you. Four. <laughs> here on the ground, yeah. It's impressive to me that there are four of you there because where I'm located, I am the only one. <laughs> Oh, I mean, well, there's me, but, me yeah. and my two sisters. There isn't anywhere, anybody within, you know. No, well, it, oh, well we've just... got four of us. <laughs> One is over the hill, Tania, and then there's me and my two sisters. And we're yeah. all over 50. Yeah. One and, of us and, is 60. We're all and, old fuckers. All, all the trannies are hoping we're going to die soon, but I'm a stubborn bastard. Well, and it, it they really, um, it's funny because they, they called me old and gray at one point. You're just old and gray and unhappy. And, uh -huh. and I was like, actually, I'm pretty happy considering what you're doing to women. <laughs> yeah. You wait, wait till you meet Rex. There's someone who's not happy. There's someone who's not fucking happy with you, all right. Yeah. But, you know, I, I can compartmentalize. I've got that sort of head. So, mm -hmm. You know, I get up, I, I do my get a run in the morning of posting the lunacy of these people going, yeah. now I've done my makeup for the first time. Any suggestions of how I can pass? You know. <laughs> they always have to do the, the little... Yeah, they all the guy in a smile. Yeah. And all that. And I just say, put a paper bag on your head for the next 50,000 <laughs> years. Pass. Yeah, put a, that'll help you pass. Put a yeah. fucking paper bag on your head forever. Be born with XX. Sorry, bro. Yeah. And I've hashtag YWMBAW, which stands for you will never be a woman. Oh, okay. And the, and, and the tranny that um got upset to the police went re about that because the policeman rang me and he he was trying to tell me off. And I was no, four straight of 2021. <laughs> no. I hold a gender critical view, how he sees himself is up to him. Go have a look at the vid, because I, I did the vid of Mumbly Joe. Okay. I, I wish I had heard him. I wish I could have heard him, because I, I, I was like, what? What's he saying? He's, he's, he's massive. I says, he's massive, and he's got married to this woman, and you want me not to laugh? What? This stuff's out in public. Yeah. And then he told me I've been offensive, and I said, being offensive isn't an offense. <laughs> And he said, yes, it is. I said, no, it's not. Otherwise, every comedian on the planet would be out of a job. Yeah. I've had to actually... Oh, not I don't to mention every to. tranny on the planet would be. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Most of them don't work anyway because they're fucking autistic demigirl boy. Woo -woo. Yeah. Go spinny, I can't work. You know? Yeah, because you're fucking mentally ill, bro. Yeah. 
Yeah, and that's what I noticed it. here is that so many of them are, um, they they have used their gender dysphoria to get disability. And so it's this, you know, again, playing it, you know, it's not a mental health issue, except for when it when it benefits us. When it is, when except it, when, when it, it works for me. Exactly. It's like, so I have to sorry. ask, where did you get your t-shirt? Did you make it yourself or did you order it? <laughs> yeah, no, uh, um, there's, there's a place, I've got a t-shirt shop, but they've um, hidden it so that no one can see it because uh -huh. it's full of t-shirts like you will never be a woman, sis my ass. <laughs> um, couple that, um, oh, one was our oh, cope, seeds and dilate, bro. Um, turf, team turf, caution contains turf, uh, easily offended, easily manipulated. So some of them went against their terms and conditions. So they've hidden my t-shirt shop. Uh, I can still order t-shirts off. Okay. So if we wanted to get one, can we, can I have people contact you on Getter yeah. or? Yeah, contact me on Getter, but um, it, it's all right. You can make your own and the, the place is printmighty.co.nz. Okay. One word, printmighty.co.nz. You can make an account. It's free. And um, so they stopped my making any little bit of money. I made a, a cup of coffee off each t-shirt I sold. And, um, but, but then the tranny who got mad at, word, at words at the internet got all his allies to email the shop. And so they went, well, we'll still, to still make money off you. Right. We're going to hide your shop. <laughs> just make we're it We're going to hide your shop. Right. But you can buy them. So I still do just to trigger them. Because in case there's a tranny lover there that has to make my t-shirts, job done. Yeah. You can't unsee. And what, what is, is your sub stack? If somebody wants to go look at your sub stack. Reality Bites, that's what it's called. So it's Rex Landy underscore Substack. But look for me, Rex Landy at Substack or Reality Bites. Is it I mean, still I do movie reviews. Is, is it still available? Because I went to look at it this morning and it wasn't linking. Is that just a fluke or? Oh, might be a fluke because I was in there this morning. Okay, but, um, I'll check yeah. after that. I'll check after after we get done here and make sure, and then yeah. I'll post it in the comments sure. below so people can find it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, because yeah, it's and, and it's like seven bucks a month if you'd yeah. like to support me, that a cup of coffee or something, and not there's free lots of free stuff. Like I say, I do movie reviews because I'm finding it very hard to find movies. I've been watching old ones because the new ones are full of kid fuckers. Yeah. People yes. who went to Epstein, you know, flew on the Lolita Express to Baby Fuck Island. I'm like, I don't want to watch you. Yeah. yeah. Well, and is there anything yeah. else you want to say before we, we sign oh, off? We do chalking. Us old girls are saying us, all four of us. <laughs> we have to get up early because Tranny's mad. But um, gosh, two days on Facebook, they called the police. They called the council about our last chalk about it. Because um, we went to Civic Square, right in the middle of Wellington. <laughs> And, and did all our signs, you know, men can't be lesbians, women don't have penises, team turf, come and get me Kerry Black, and, you know, all the women's, all the triggering things that trannies don't like, you will never be a woman, and all that, and then we go and have a nice breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they went, oh, Ruby, we're so sorry you had to see that, do a good to running down there with buckets to, you know, wipe it all away and then we go around Oriental Bay which is another Richville area because there's lovely brick walls there and my favorite is how big was your mother's dick then <laughs> oh dear well if T-W-A-W did it hurt your mum when she pushed you out the end of that little head of that dick the big dicks run in your family as Dylandy likes to ask them the big dick women running your family. Well, I've been suspended off Twitter because I just won't fucking say nicely. Mark Lamar, working class man, big straw man. He goes, oh, well, maybe if my mum, if my cleaning, cleaning lady mother was the queen, I could have lived in a bit more luxury. And I was like, yeah. Asked him, did it hurt, you know? Did it hurt your mum when she pushed, your, pushed you out of her cleaner dick, <laughs> you know? Who cleaning lady dick did it hurt? He, they just block me, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and 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 pile on and get me reported. But I've had over a dozen profiles. But you know, I've asked Reese McKinnon how fast he goes on his menstrual cycle. <laughs> 
you know, they, they, the, the, the manner in which they insist on these absurdities, the, the number of men who claim that they menstruate is just astonishing to me. I know. You, um, you fucking post diarrhea. You know, you post carry diarrhea is not a period. No. Shoving your toothbrush up your ass is not a period. Yeah. That's it, what they do. It really indicates like how profoundly they are not women. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and, and we're all expected to play along in yeah. that social conditioning and that female socialization, you know, of, yeah. oh, oh, yes, he's, oh, yeah, oh, yes, if you say so. I mean, Callum Bouncy. Yeah, yeah we, need to, we need to really so push different. back. And we need to, um, women need to yeah. know it's okay to be rude. It's okay to be um, impolite. We need, you know, it's, it's our safety and our basic... Uh, absolutely right laugh at them yeah laugh at them yeah they, they threaten me in my facebook comments of like you come try that transphobic shit in my town and i just go yeah it'll take five of you yeah <laughs> and it'll take five of you look at your drain pipe arms bro i says i call you a man and you just fucking cry <laughs> well Rex. And like, they don't get they don't, they don't come back to me i don't yeah. know why it's like well, come come here yeah, well, keep it up. Late. I'd rip your face off. I'd rip your face off and eat it in front of you, you idiot. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not at home to this at all. I have nothing left for them but fucking searing contempt and scorn. Yeah. You bullied and, it and, out and, of me. And that's what they have for you. I mean, I, I still, I, I, I was shocked just at how um, dismissive the your legislators were. I mean, it just is, it's quite disgusting. So. Quite a few lesbians too. Louisa Wall, she's a lesbian who said we don't need any fucking turfs telling us what to do. Wow. Elizabeth, well, what happened to the lesbians? I mean, yeah. Well, they're allies in the streets and turfs in the sheets. Yeah. I'll never suck a lady dick. No. You know, but they're happy for you too. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, no, no, plot. It's the Ferguson challenge. Yeah. William Ferguson, shout out to one of the very few men that's a real ally. And uh, William Ferguson has the Ferguson Challenge. You know, we've heard of the Staniland question. Ferguson Challenge is fuck one then. Yeah. Yeah. If you think they're really women, go. go and fuck go one then. It. It's only three words. Fuck one then. Yeah. <laughs> well, Rex, thank you so much for all that you're doing. I appreciate your willingness to just tell it like it is. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. So thank you. It's for me. Yeah. Fucking Maori order. <laughs> Never surrender. Thank you so much for giving me the platform because, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit rude for most people, eh? <laughs> well, I'm hoping, I, I, you know, every morning I wake up and expect to see that I've been cancelled. So we'll see how much longer I'm on there. But until then, I'm I can't cancel me, eh? Yeah. I'm going to keep, yeah, I'm gonna keep doing it. I can't cancel me. I'm a professional nobody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm a nobody. I can't take my job. They can't take, you know, I mean, they could stop my disability benefit because, yeah. you know, should be aware by now I'm not too tightly wrapped and I enjoy mental health issues too. Yeah. But you know what? I don't want legislating for mine. I just right. go and see a fucking psychologist. <laughs> you don't because expect people, everybody to humor time you. Time in the chair. Yeah. I've done enough time in the chair. Like I said on the, the one interview was, why don't we just give everyone who thinks they're Napoleon an elaborate costume? Why don't we just fund that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you're telling me to do. I fucking elaborate Napoleon costumes for all. No, shan't. No. <laughs> well, Thank you have you. a wonderful <laughs> you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining Thank you. Me. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, darling. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it was great talking to you. Take care. Give us a Bye-bye.